Once you've finished your test, the next step is to export it. Uh, this requires you to do it the specific way, and it's very important that you decide a system of naming your ex exports and your question banks that will be imported into Canvas. I use a fairly simple method and you can use something similar to this or expand it or do as you will, you know, whatever works for you. So the thing I want to do now is as I go to the Danview Test Generator is I want to export and I need to choose Blackboard 7.1-9.0. When I select that, I will get first a dialog asking me to create a zip file and give it a name. You need to remember where you're saving this file. I'm going to save it in a folder that I'm creating for here. And the, the name of the file can be descriptive so that you can name it so that you know what you're talking about. So this was Unit 1, Quiz 1. And then when you export, the next window you get, this is another thing where you can, the name can be descriptive. Unit 1, Quiz 1. You can use spaces here. You can give it a description. Uh, the formatting I leave alone. You can choose the feedback. Uh, the feedback can show up to the kids in exam view from the canvas test depending on how you do the settings. So you can play with these two choices and see which ones you want to have the kids to see if you're interested in that. Uh, the directory name is very important. When I export the exam view, I want each of my quizzes into a separate test bank on e onto canvas because I want to be able to find each quiz separately and maybe pull questions to create a separate test in Canvas later on from these question banks. So I want one question bank for each quiz and or test. And so I use abbreviations. In this case, I use U1Q1. And for quiz 2, it would be U1Q2, and so on. And if I'm doing a test, I may add test or pretest or final test. Uh, but I still use the U1, Q1 or U1, T1 for tests, depending, you know, so that I can keep track of what tests I've created because they will stay in Canvas and you can reuse them in, uh, next year or later in the year as review. And then when you finish that, it will create that zip file. And the zip file will be in your desktop or wherever you, you've, saw, you've saved it. In this case, I saved it into this folder. And it creates a zip file. And that's where you need to be able to find that file in order to import it into Canvas, which is the next step.